Hello everyone. Today we will discuss COP27 and why is it important. So let's dissect this topic in complete depth. COP stands for Conference of the Parties. Since 1995, world leaders and their delegates have convened annually to discuss the critical issue of global warming, carbon emissions, and how to tackle climate change. This year's meeting marks the 27th gathering, so it's called COP27. Climate change has risen up political agendas as floods, drought, wildfires, and extreme weather hurt millions of people, homes, and economies across the globe. Why is COP27 important? The world is warming because of emissions produced by humans mostly from burning fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal. Global temperatures have risen 1.1 Celsius and are heading towards 1.5 Celsius, according to the climate scientists, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC. If temperatures rise 1.7 to 1.8 Celsius, above 1850 levels, the IPCC estimates that half the world's population could be exposed to life-threatening heat and humidity. To prevent this, 194 countries signed the Paris Agreement in 2015, pledging to pursue efforts to limit global temperature rises to 1.5 Celsius. The Pakistani floods this year are a wake-up call to the world on the threats of climate change. Who will be at COP27? About 100 heads of state and government will attend, according to organizers, including President Biden after the midterms elections. Notable absences include Russia's President Vladimir Putin and China's President Xi Jinping, although a Chinese climate negotiator is expected to participate. Human rights groups and celebrities have urged attendees to draw attention to thousands of political prisoners in Egypt in particular, the case of Allah Abdel Fattah, a British-Egyptian computer programmer and activist who has been on a partial hunger strike for over 200 days. Where is COP27 this year? The conference will take place in the Egyptian coastal resort city of Sharm el-Sheikh from November 6 to November 18. This will be the fifth time a COP has been hosted in Africa. However, choosing Egypt as the venue has attracted controversy. Some human rights and climate campaigners say the government has stopped them attending because they have criticized its rights record. What is expected at COP27? Governments are expected to evaluate progress on climate pledges centered around cutting emissions, phasing out fossil fuels, ramping up renewable energy use, and ensuring that richer countries support poorer nations, bearing the brunt of climate change. In a significant step at last year's COP, world leaders acknowledged that progress had been slow, agreeing to revisit and strengthen their national climate targets, if possible. This year's location has prompted calls for the conference to focus on African countries, which are some of the most vulnerable to climate change despite being among the lowest emitters, but it has also invited criticism of Egypt's human rights record. So this was our lecture for today, stay blessed.